there are two good reasons for getting a low profile mechanical keyboard, low actuation and comfort. However, finding an inexpensive and good low profile keyboard is like finding a needle in a haystack. Red Dragon, a brand that doesn't need any introduction, came up with this slim and extremely well designed keyboard. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Red Dragon K618 Horus, a full size mechanical keyboard with 4mm low profile keycaps and low profile switches. I'll show you through its design, connectivity, performance, battery life and will explain everything you want to know about it. And also I will show you the coolest Red Dragon gaming mouse, the M991, so stay with me. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. First, let's check what's in the box. The accessories included are the Horus K618 keyboard itself, the Red Dragon leaflet, instruction manuals, 8 spare switches in a dedicated foam tray. The switches are red low profile 3 pins, clicky linear tactile ones, keycap puller, a switch metal puller and 1.5 meters long USB-C to USB-A cable. The Horus K618 wireless mechanical gaming keyboard is a full size keyboard and is actually super slim both in the front plate and the low profile keys and mechanical switches. Just to give you an idea on how slim the K618 is, here's a standard profile keyboard and this is Apple Magic Keyboard. The front plate is made from black aluminium on the top face, top edge and the bottom edge. The left and right sides as well as the back are plastic. On the left side is a USB-C port for wired use as well as an on off switch for wireless use. At the bottom we got two adjustable feet and a hollowed out receptacle for the 2.4 GHz USB-A dongle. The dongle snaps in easily and feels secure when in place. The Key 618 is built for customization. With the included keycap puller tool, you might remove the keycaps and with switch puller, replace or swap the switches to a different type. This, however, requires some practice. Here we go. If you're unfamiliar with the switch types, if the speed is your consideration, you should stick to the linear red switches like the ones used in the keyboard. Brown switches are somewhere in between. These are pretty quiet so certainly suitable for use in the office. And the black switches are also linear, very similar to the red ones. They don't make too much noise but having an operating force of 65 centinewtons, meaning you have to press down a little harder to have a keystroke read by the computer. You can order new keycaps and switches and drop them right into the keyboard. Mix and match red and blue or change the keycaps, all is up to your personal preference. Please note, you need to order Red Dragon switches or compatible low profile switches, for example Altimu or KAILH, not standard ones. The K618 Horus has three dedicated multimedia buttons built in, as well as four virtual multimedia buttons that you can access by pressing them along with the FN button, browser, search, calculator and email. At the top of the keyboard there are five rubber buttons labeled G1 to G5, five similar buttons labeled M1 to M4 and MR buttons for macros, towards the right usual num lock, caps lock and scroll lock LED indicators with an additional indicator marked M and the textured metal volume rocker. The function key also gives you an access to the additional features of the keyboard. The backlight configuration can be changed using the FN button combined with the insert button. If you want different solid color options, as well as customize each switch individually, you have to download the Red Dragon software which supports Windows computers only. The keyboard has three connectivity modes which includes the wired mode, the 2.4 GHz radio frequency wireless mode and the Bluetooth mode. And now let's check through each mode. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. First, the wired mode. Just plug the included cable into the PC and it works straight away. In wired mode, the internal battery of the keyboard is being charged. Please note, if you're running your keyboard in wired mode, you'll need to run it on wireless every now and then for only one reason, let the battery serve its purpose, otherwise the wired connection might affect the battery efficiency in the keyboard. 
To use the 2.4 GHz radio frequency connection, just plug the dongle into your PC. Please note the 2.4 GHz connection is slightly faster than the Bluetooth connection. The keyboard obviously supports the Bluetooth multipoint connection, which means you can actively connect the keyboard to up to a total of three Bluetooth devices at the same time and toggle between them without having to disconnect any device. On the top of that, the keyboard supports both Bluetooth 3.0 and Bluetooth 5.0 versions, so you can choose one or the other. The obvious choice would be 5.0 as it's the fastest iteration, so I reckon this would be an option for the most of us. The pair devices can be accessed via the function key in combination with Q, W and E. I'm trying it with the latest iPad Air, all works smooth, no missing keystrokes, no signs of latency. I have done some typing tests and it's actually very easy to type, though I'm not used to low profile yet and every now and then getting some typos, but overall typing on low profile is very pleasant experience. Now let's plug the Android phone, and again, the keyboard has been recognized by the phone straight away. I even tried some racing game, here's an Asphalt 9 Legends, the game recognized the keyboard as an external gaming pad, but all works fine, the keyboard gives me full control over the game. I found that keyboard was accurate even a good 14 to 16 feet away from my testing device. The keyboard supports macros as well, programming them isn't difficult, but it's a bit of a process, so you'll want to keep the user manual handy. You can record up to 20 sets of macros, which are stored in 4 separate macro profiles. Each macro profile can store up to 5 separate macros. The battery. Depending on what you are using it for, you should get a few days of intense gaming sessions before you'd need to plug it in. When the M indicator light starts flashing in red, it means the battery is low and you need to plug in the USB-C cable to recharge the keyboard. During charging, M indicator will stay in solid red color. During testing, I was able to get around 26 hours with LEDs on and slightly over 32 hours when using the 2.GHz connection. To complement my new keyboard, I have upgraded my wired Red Dragon Ranger Basic mouse to a new wireless Red Dragon M991 Enlightenment. This mouse is truly amazing. It has outstanding non-slip rubber texture and feels fantastic in my hand. It has a standard left and right buttons along with the scroll wheel which is highly responsive. There are another three DPI buttons at the top of the mouse. There are two side keys, these are forward and backward keys corresponding with the forward and backward arrows at the keyboard. Here we got a rapid fire button. Let's plug it. At the bottom of the mouse there is a little compartment for the 2.4 GHz dongle. This has to be plugged to the computer. At the bottom we also got a power switch, it also serves as eco switch. It basically disables all the RGB lights to extend the battery life to around 80 hours. Personally, I do not use it in eco mode, as with the light, the mouse looks truly amazing. The light patterns are customizable, there's also a PC software which allows for customization of the light patterns and creating and adding macros. The movement is exact and smooth, and the mouse works as a generic mouse when plugged to Apple Mac, and because of its complexity, the Mac initially would recognize it as a keyboard. If you're looking for an ultra-slim wireless mechanical gaming keyboard with a low-profile keycaps and switches, decent performance and multiple connectivity options, the Red Dragon Horus K618 is a good choice for the price. The Enlightenment mouse is also a great buying choice for gamers. You can get the keyboard and the mouse from the Red Dragon website and from Amazon. If you're interested, please check the affiliate links in the video description or scan the QR code which pops on the screen right now. Out of curiosity, I have checked what the existing users have to say about the keyboard. Because I noticed the K618 gets glowing reviews on Amazon and here we got Basically, a newer and better version of the Logitech 915. Excellent budget low profile keep. It's a keeper. Great board, not so great software. Hmm. Good keyboard, will buy from the seller again. Excellent customer service, great product. As you can see, that speaks for itself.
Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV.